Alone together, Dora Bella tells her sister about the pleasures of surrender. Don Alfonso and the triumphant Guglielmo conceal themselves, Ferrando makes another assault upon Fioradelegi's virtue, and this time succeeds. It is now Guglielmo's turn to experience humiliation. Don Alfonso has won the bet, and he later tries to console the two chastened and angry young men with the moral that women always act in this manner, and to make sure he has gotten the point across, he makes them repeat. They are all like this. Così fan tutte. Man accuses the woman, but I excuse her, and my forgiveness never will refuse her. Man's love is a passion, and life's anxiety to her, the charm of love's variety. A lover who may find himself deluded cannot blame her for that, the fault is nature's. A scarecrow of beauty. Say the words after me. Così fan tutte. Così fan tutte. He then has the boys continue the game to teach the girls a lesson. With the help of Despina, the sisters agree to marry their true loves, the Albanians. The wedding ceremony begins when a drum roll is heard, announcing the supposed return of the soldiers. In simulated panic, the Albanians hide. Shortly thereafter, Ferrando and Guglielmo appear in uniform. 
They seem to be puzzled by the consternation this causes until they discover the circumstances. With drawn swords, they rush out in pursuit of their rivals, only to return with their Albanian disguises in hand. The mortified sisters realize they've been deceived. Don Alfonso forestalls an ugly situation by telling the two couples that it is all for the best. Everyone is wiser now. They've seen each other as they really are, and the only resolution is to have a good laugh and go through with the wedding with the original pairings. In the final ensemble, the two couples offer a life lesson to the accompaniment of some agitated music. Quote, Lucky are those who see goodness in everything, and in every event are guided by reason. What makes others weep to them is a cause of laughter. In the turmoil of the world, only they will find peace of mind. Unquote.
From its premiere in 1790 until the mid-1950s, Così Fan Tutte was seldom staged because it was considered vulgar and immoral. Indeed it is, and misogynist to boot. However, modern audiences have assumed a non-judgmental stance to the story to indulge in the pleasures of Mozart's music, and it is regularly performed in opera houses worldwide. In our current times, when so many issues offend so many people, this seems strange, but what do I know? I'm clueless Peter Shimkin. Join me for future episodes of Opera for All.